Hey there! This is the first part of a tutorial in which we are going to show you how to build your IoT dashboard and how to customize it easily. In case you don't have an account yet, you have to sign up to the platform. Otherwise, uh, if you already have an account, just log in and move to your dashboard. The IoT dashboard is the place that the things that are where all the data generated by your things will be displayed. Depending on which kind of information you want to see, you will prefer one widget or another one. Before you start building your IoT dashboard, you should have at least one thing connected at the things.io because you need data to display. In our blog, we have some quick guides to connect things in one minute or less. Now, Let's move to the option Edit Dashboard on the right up of the screen. Keep an eye on it because we are going to use it a lot. The dashboard you are seeing now is the one that appears to anyone who creates a new account in the platform as a default one. Let's delete all the widgets we have here in order to start building our unique dashboard. Once you're here, you'll see the option Add Widget, which is the one we are going to choose. In this pop-up, you'll have to complete the fields required. The first widget we are going to create will be called Real Temperature. We want a gouge that displays the temperature from the room in real time. When you are here, select Things Resource, then Thermostat, as we will be working with this device, My Thermostat, room temperature, because as we have said, we want this to display this data. Here, choose last value and then gouge option. Don't forget to click on the real time. In this case, this widget allows you to display temperature between two main numbers. Let's choose the zero as the minimum and 30 as the maximum. You see, it is easy. Let's move to the creation of the second widget. Now we want a lines graphic called room temperature. See what I choose and try it yourself. OK, the third widget will display the desired temperature information. It is easy to, as it is really similar to the first one we have created. And that's it. You can watch the second part of this tutorial in which we show you how to create more awesome widgets to make your dashboard even cooler. And if you want to know more about the things that are here, you can visit our website, contact us, and follow us on Twitter as well.